Hey guys, uh, well, so welcome to Shanghai University Jading um, campus tour. So as you can see, currently I am at the Southeast Gate. There's the gate and then there's the sign. So the reason I'm making this video, no, just full disclosure, is because there aren't any videos, I assume, on public, on social media platforms that display the Jadding campus for Shanghai University. So as a student, I guess it would help out other students. It would help out other students who are going to this campus, especially now since there aren't any um, registration files. So yeah, not registration files. I meant like have, being able to enter campus. So well, let's, let me show you what's inside. Okay, uh, I'm not as confident as I usually am because I'm in unknown territory per se. So I'm gonna keep laying low. So here, so I'm gonna, let me flip my camera. So I'm currently walking from the Southeast Gate into the Jadding campus. So this is the first thing you'll see when you enter the, enter the campus. You'll see a statue. Yeah. Oh. On your left there, that is where you'll be able to ride buses to the different campuses of Chang'e University. So there's one in Yansheng and in um, Baoshan. So there's a timetable at which you can travel. Yeah. So, but I, as, as you see, I turned left, right. So when you turn right, the first thing you'll see is a supermarket store where you can find you know, snacks, utilities, stuff like that. And once you go straight, these will all, there are four buildings, I believe of dormitories so i can't go in because i'm not a student there and your student id is registered into the door so you can only enter if you live in that dorm so instead we're just gonna turn left which are where all the campuses well, not on the ca all the classrooms are so it's under construction at the moment so and it's a pretty long walk so I'll speed things up a little bit. So recently, in my last video, I was there. So now I walk through, and as you can see, these are the classrooms. So the first one is the School of Micro Electronics, and on the left is the basketball court. There are one, two, three, four, five, six courts, six basketball courts. So if you're interested in that, you know, why not? And if you go further, you get soccer field or like football soccer field whichever you prefer as well as the track if you're into track and field there are different i guess they're there you have a physical education course you'd like to take and then on my left I'm not sure what it is but it's still under construction okay yeah so i guess while waiting how are you? <laughs> Everything good? Yeah. If you say no, then well, all I can say is it gets better. So anyways, here we see this is the SILC portion of the campus. There are three buildings. There's a Wenhui, Wenbo, and Wendo, Wendo building. Which is pretty, pretty convenient if you're a student who takes one of the programs at SILC, Business School and Shanghai University. So as you can see here is the, the sign. Those are the three buildings right alongside. There's a cafe over there. Um, well now it's, well you could say it could be like a cat cafe because well, the cats here are pretty friendly. They're around the campus, which is fine. And in here, I believe it's another classroom. I'm not sure. I haven't really, I didn't start yet. I just finished my course selections earlier. So people are staring at me. So 
Oh, I'm I'm losing confidence. <laughs> I'm scared, as you can see. So there's the field. Those are the four buildings, four dormitories. And yeah, here is the activity hall, I believe. From what I can assume from the map provided to the students. Um, you can check it out on their website. Yeah, and then I believe more classrooms. Now here on the right is our is the gym, the gymnasium. So you could play badminton, volleyball, and I believe basketball as well inside. Where they store everything. Yeah, and if you go straight, those are the tennis courts. There are four courts and I think they're closed. I guess one due to rain because it recently drizzled. And as well as if you take a left there, you'll see you'll be able to enter the north gate. But I'm not gonna do that because <laughs> just cause. And so yeah. If you go to so if you go to your left, if you go to the left here, you will see the north gate. And parking the parking lot as well and on the right there is my dormitory which is the UN apartments so yeah I have to keep walking but yeah. and so here is the UN EUN apartments this is where I'm staying there's the door I'll be going in later on and for from floors to no from floor from the third and fourth floor you have a terrace there's a roof but they closed it i guess you know for safety reasons as well and which is really convenient for all the dormitories is that either on your left or right there's the canteen which is really convenient yeah. and what else is on the right side it's closed at the moment, but there was like a tea shop, a milk tea shop. And behind it, there is another supermarket, which is really convenient if you don't want to go all the way to the North Gate. Well, not North Gate, the South, the Southeast Gate. So here is the supermarket, as, as mentioned on the sign. Or you could also buy fruits, but I don't have fruits at the moment. So here you can buy different utilities such as mops, brooms, some snacks, baskets, you know, all your necessities for your dormitory. You got the motorcycle or like scooter parking area. And you got the dorms. On your left here is the canteen, here, which is like another entrance. So when I enter in, they don't have food at the moment. I believe they think they're still cooking it. So. Here's the entrance. Here's one of the entrances. We're still cooking the food, I believe. They're not yet open. They're different size, but I'm happy here. So when you want to, order, so when you want to order food, you have to like charge your your student card by WeChat or Alipay. There is a program that they have where you can instantly just you know, transfer money into it, so you can buy all your necessities. You can use that money in all of in all of your purchases around campus, except the except the cafe hub, where you have to use you know, WeChat, um, cash or or um, Alipay. So that's that. And on my right, there is public restroom. If you want to go directly to the restroom for either number one or number two after you finish eating, so that's convenient. Right after filming that part, I went back in because I was going to buy dinner. The good thing about here in the, ca in the canteen is that the, food's, the food is affordable, which is really good if you're a student <laughs> and you want to be cheap. So yeah, so I ordered tofu, eggs, with tomato, tofu separately, and egg with tomatoes, and a vegetable mix. So I'm on my way back to the dorm 
that's because I don't want to eat in the cafeteria just for safety reasons for my safety because I'm still underage and I'm unvaccinated so for my safety I'm gonna go I'm gonna head back into my dormitory which is right there so I'm gonna walk five flights of stairs so I guess I'm gonna film myself going up I guess that'll be boring never mind so no so I'm going in so what you usually do is to scan your card over there your student ID card put it on two sets of stairs, that's because each stair is connected to different ones, so I'm here. So yeah, I'll see you when I get up. I just got back um, from giving you the tour outside, so yeah, I am. Um, I don't want to film myself going up talking because there are students there, because if you go into the hallway, there are small cubicles, like six cubicles on each floor where students can you know, self-study if they don't want their roommates to disturb them. So, you know, just to, like to respect their, you know, their privacy, you know, I just like, I won't talk on my way up. Yeah, because, you know, education is vital, especially. So you don't wanna hinder that. So yeah, um, I guess that's it, that's it. Um, Keep, I hope you keep update, like, share, and subscribe if you want. And um, turn on that notification bell if you want to keep updated because on September 3, on this Friday, so in my time will be tomorrow, I, we will be heading up to Baoshan campus for our official orientation ceremony, which, is, which is, I'm excited for. And uh, hopefully it'll all go well. So... See you.